Hello, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. I'm Brooke. We're so happy to have you guys here today. I am like exceptionally excited to be recording right now. I don't know why. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since the gals sat on a couch and chatted. So maybe that's why. Maybe. And I we have know. a lot to talk about, actually, because yeah. whenever we have weekends apart, I feel like we it's like, so oh, much. I have so much to update you. Yeah. yeah. But even then, if we like do a trip together, then we still have so much to talk about for you guys. You're right. But yeah, I'm selfishly like, I want to hear about your weekend. And, and I've withheld some information. I know. I'm, I'm like, dude, tell, tell me. Tell yeah. me. She's like, you have to wait till we record. So you guys are getting the juicy info. This week's episode, though, is going to be with our lovely hairstylist, Mads Hair. We're going to call her that because that's what she's known as. She's amazing. She does both Brooks and I's hair here in the city. And we, we, we talked a little about her and her journey, but more so products and hair Rex health and Rex. what we get done to our hair and mm-hmm. what to ask for and all of the like suggestion things you know growth hair health like just things that we're more everything focusing more on these yeah. days we've had a couple makeup artists on the podcast mm-hmm. and we were like well we need to bring hair in because i forget sometimes about hair like obviously well, i don't forget like get <laughs> like, it done and we do it get her done but like i don't know all the proper things to do for my hair and we asked lots of questions that you guys asked so mm-hmm. um she is amazing she's a hairstylist here in new york city and we'll have all of her links down below uh, but that's going to be later after this intro it is so we'll catch up and mm-hmm. mustard right now oh yeah uh, baby should we start with fave and rack and then we'll do a little okay yeah little before track. we get carried yeah, away yeah, yeah, that's yeah. probably a good okay. idea right. um so my favorite for this week is actually a drink. Um, it's Sprit Society, our friend's company. Yes. Um, I, you weren't able to go because you were away, which we'll talk about. But I went to their event last week. Um, they now have Spritz, the peach flavor at Ruby's here in New York City. Um, but it's just like, it's just such a good drink. It's a wine-based seltzer. I think it's like 6% alcohol. I could be making that up. They just came out with a new flavor today, Pink Lemonade. I need to try. I haven't tried it. I heard it's like really freaking good. I like them because they're just not too sweet. Like exactly. The perfect seltzer. I've literally never been like aggressively hung over from them. Like I really, maybe I'll like feel like uh, in the morning a little bit, but I've, I've always felt really good. And they just go down the hatch. So I easy. so agree. I don't really like too fizzy of a drink. No, and I feel like yeah. they're lightly carbonated. They're lightly they're carbonated. Oh my God. They're so, drinkable. so good. Like if I wish I need them to get into more stores so I can easily like go pick up a case. Yeah. They're on what delivery app? They're on Grub. Go Puff. Go Puff. Go Puff. Yes, I actually city, forgot about nice. that. I know, but they should be like, it would be nice if they're like at the convenience store down the block. Yeah, like, but yeah. actually, let's be real, I go puff more than I go to the convenience store. So, <laughs> so that's good to thanks know Thanks for that for reminder, bro. Party or whatever. Yeah, they're great flavors. I do really like them too. And I'm like, I like I drink the hard seltzers and whatever because I, I like some of them, but some yeah. of them I drink because I'm like, you know, it's easy. It's, it's better it's right like, there. Sometimes I can't just drink liquor, like I'll die. Yeah, of course. But spritz I really like. No, I know. That's why I also, I knew that you were a fan too. So I was yeah. like, I'll talk about it. I just, all sponsored i just really i really love their drinks and i wish bars just had them because oh, be fun. i just feel like i would love life so much because they actually taste good and they just don't make me feel like shit mm-hmm. so love spritz society they came out with a new flavor and that's my favorite i love that i know how crazy me doing a little alcohol fave yeah i, I don't know. think i've ever done that oh well welcome to the <laughs> welcome. welcome to gals on the go yeah spritz society. what what are you loving right now um my favorite right now is <laughs> let me look um it is the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic cream i don't know if you've tried oh no i mean i've used the watermelon yes. serum it's new for some reason coming back i'll get into my whole trip i went on a friend's bachelor to arizona and my skin is so dry probably because i was in the desert mm-hmm. and just my skin in general has been dry this winter too doesn't look I, like it maybe because well, oh. yeah <laughs> and i just love the texture it truly is one of those like bounce back like you know you look at it and, like it's like jelly like moving oh around my god in I, there. Love. I love the texture it's like moisturizing without being too thick wears well under makeup i just i'm really happy with it I'm yeah. obsessed. Okay, so noted. So it's also like a serum, but it's like their new one. Yeah, I just used that like instead of moisturizer today. Like that was what I... Plump, plump. Yeah. I like the name. I mean, they got me there with the yes. branding. I needed something really like, I, I you know, I... Like jelly-like, I, like just get on me. I was using my lightweight moisturizers and I needed to upgrade to sport mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the deep hydrator. Noted. Yeah, so we're shifting gears. <laughs> I love that. No, I... Yeah, you got it. Sometimes oh you God. just got to pull in the full forces. I agree. I agree. Well, thank okay. you for sharing And what's that. your wreck of the week? My wreck of the week is, it's so funny. Like I literally wrote these. I know. Okay. I feel the same. Um, my wreck of the week is a TikTok account. Um, her name is Neutrally Ashlyn. I follow her too. Oh, you do? Yes. Obsessed. So specifically for Amazon finds and just like little 
product and life hacks. Like she's the one who I saw had AirPod cleaners back in the day. Uh, um, she th- also, if you're into like ASMR and like fast clip videos, she does that. She'll be like, pack with me for a trip. And it's like boom, boom, the boom, headband, boom. the pouch, pouch, pouch. She's such a brook. She <laughs> loves her pouches. And I find, and they're all very aesthetically pleased. I don't know. I just really enjoy when one of her videos pop up on my feed. And if you love Amazon and you're always looking for little like Amazon things uh-huh. and excuse to buy something as a boost of serotonin, neutrally Ashen, Ashlyn, I love her stuff. Um, it's A S H L A N. I love that. Um, so, I, so you know yeah. who that is. Too. I followed her on Instagram, I think, for a minute. I think she follows about us. Yeah, maybe that's why I saw it. So yeah. it follows you. And I was like, oh, I'll definitely throw her. Yes. Follow. She's a gal on the go. I love to see it. But you guys would definitely enjoy her content, I think. So kind of Clara vibes, but not cleaning, more so product. Products. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. What's yours? Uh, my wreck of the week is you season three. Ooh, Have you watched it yet? I started the first episode and he's like a professor now, right? Yeah. Um, Got to be honest, the first few episodes, like, not that I wasn't paying attention, but like, you know, I was on my phone a little bit like, a yeah. loose, but then I really strapped in for the last two. I mean, they just keep finding plots of the really? show. So to it gets have. better. It gets better. I mean, it's definitely a lot of like, it's like, you know, introduce a character. Not to, this isn't even a spoiler. This is the whole show. It's like, yeah. they introduce a character, they die. They introduce a character, right. they die. Like they have to cover up the death. On yes. Them, oh things. yes. The girl he falls in love with is you know something whatever yeah. like there's something there's always a girl right like there's yeah always a girl oh there's, you oh, Hello, oh you. You. there's always a girl and there's always two things that are sure about that show no literally <laughs> i i don't think any season is better than the season one unfortunately uh, no. like season one's so good wait is it season four right now i just said three i so think quick. it's four actually oh my gosh okay so four just now that out, you say that and it hasn't all been released yet it's only like the first five one. episodes so i watched all five um and i like that that's like the most i haven't been watching shows at all even on the plane everything like i just don't watch shows but wow yeah but that i watched no i definitely like want to watch i'm watching so many shows right now that i can't keep up what like why what I, well, watching? i'm watching nashville and it has oh. six seasons but within the six seasons because back in the back in the old days you know a season wasn't just 10 episodes it's yeah. like 20 so each of these seasons are 20 episodes so i'm thriving it's kind of like did you ever watch desperate housewives yes loved uh, that was like long and good so i'm gonna be really sad when it's over so i'm watching that right now and then i just started outer bank season oh i need to start that three I that's think. another one they're always getting into trouble yeah. they're always <laughs> one thing about that show yeah. i know i am watching it right now i'm like they're just running all the time like they're just running away they're from all... people trying to no, get the you he's always escaping death by a narrow margin yeah true and outer banks they're always on the run and escape that uh, escape the cops yes. by a narrow margin. you're right? so right i'm <laughs> yeah. like there's also this movie i really want to watch called your place or mine you've probably <gasps> seen ads for it reese witherspoon yeah did you see no i want to see it i just yeah. love, i love reese who doesn't i know well and um Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher and Jesse Williams is in it. Who, yes, you know, yes. went to Psalm I twice. Know, I know, I know. Gotta go see the Broadway show twice. Yes. Yeah, so just for Jesse. Um, so yeah, th- that's what I, I don't know how that came That's out. great. No, I asked you what you've been watching because oh, okay, I haven't yeah. been watching a lot. I've been in a bit of a reading slump, which I could talk about maybe another time because we have a lot of other catch up oh, stuff. No. Oh no. Like you're just not liking what you're reading. Yeah. You're just reading too many books. No, I tried to go down this fantasy loophole and it just, it's Couldn't not be for, for me. me. I know. And then people are like, it's good. You're reading outside your genre. But, but like, if you're not enjoying it, yeah, say, no. too old for that. Yeah. Too old for reading too books old, I don't want to read. Nope. <laughs> this is not high school no no more required readings literally yeah and i'm not even like in a book club or anything that i have to read it like it's literally just me but i'm like the the se- i'm on the second one now for the a uh, court of thorn and roses i think i'm gonna stop after this one uh because everyone told me that it gets better at this one i'm like when yeah because i'm i'm like over halfway through the book and like, yeah and you're like, a good reader like you're you're pounding through yeah and, and they're like oh no like just wait it gets better i'm like what <laughs> what when unfortunately i'm at like chapter 39 like when does it get better I, it's it's subjective yeah and it's just not for you you're right i've received a lot of people who love it but then i did get some they always come later like the stragglers were <laughs> like i actually didn't like this yeah, one i'm like, like are you freaking kidding like, me thank guys? you for telling me now yeah <laughs> meanwhile at first everyone's like prepared have your mind blown like so then i'm like i'm i'm buckled no, up of you course. Know? you're like okay when is it? see that's the problem though because i feel like when you get people wrecking you like like i did it for you for certain shows you've done it for me with books like if you really hype it up then it's like when is that twist and it's like not that big but if you're not expecting it at all it is that was you at the broadway show with me yeah i know i I wasn't gonna say but yeah i like hyped up this show and brooke was like i mean it was okay like it was good but like because i I, so you know you you have to set the expectations very mid yeah just like yeah let me know what you think yes yeah so anyways that's why so i i've just 
I've been in like a little bit of a lull with like the the reading, the watching TV. So maybe. So what are you doing? TikTok. Okay. I really don't fucking know. Honestly, that's a really great question. No, <laughs> well, I've been no, thinking about that. You've been traveling and working. And- I guess, but like I sat on that plane for. I worked on the plane there. The plane home. I was like, what did I do for four hours? Like I went. I posted an Instagram. Like what else did I don't know what else I did. I feel like I scrolled. Listen to music. Yeah. Maybe. Podcast. I guess. Podcast. Oh yeah, podcast is. I forgot podcast exists as I'm recording a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You probably listen to podcast. Listen Close to your eyes, podcasts, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Predicting what broke it on her flight. Yeah. You're like, what did she do hour by hour? Yeah. yeah. I don't really know. I'm gonna I'm I'm home now and I'm sitting my ass down for a few weeks and I will be watching TV and reading books. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, you've just been out of routine in a fun way. Yeah. Um so speaking of out of routine, you just came from a bachelorette party for your friend I Adriana. I did. Um she is one of my best friends from high school and she's getting married. She's your getting girl's married. getting hitched. Wifey ah, fiance. <laughs> I love bachelorette culture. <laughs> when Brooke was going on the trip, I was like, I know you're trying to be respectful of everyone's privacy and like not be a ton, but like, please post something for me. Like yeah. I literally was like, you need to post the content. I think I did, you I did a good job. Okay, you delivered. You. you did a perfect job of like balancing because I know like not all of them are on social media all the yeah, time, but like yeah. you really delivered. Like, like, I didn't want to be like drunk at the bar and be like, everybody get in this. No, but I did. Yeah. Anyways, I didn't post them, but I look back. Oh, did you? I apparently got so drunk because I was doing the, the 0.5 like backwards. oh my god like, i guys. thought i was the main character you're for like sure. private snap stories i woke up the next morning i was like oh brooke had a night like, <laughs> i did i could tell when you set up the phone as like a tripod in the bar dancing i was taking vodka shots at the bar what straight vodka straight vodka okay you no must chaser have been. i was so drunk danielle I was, no chaser well i would chase with my drink like my mixed drink my vodka soda i was drinking vodka sodas um which were Ooh. great and then i yeah i took Cause there was one girl on the bachelorette. Like my friends were like, you know, we're all gonna get pretty drunk tonight. Whatever, not pretty. Like everyone, we're, we're all gonna have a night. Each other out. It was we're like your one big night. night out. Yeah, this was tonight a Saturday. is our night. Tonight's we're our going night. to surf lodge. No, I'm kidding. Literally, it was giving that energy, but it was like tonight's the night. But like, I just like needed to get excited. And there was a girl on the bachelorette who I met, and she like looked like, and I could just tell she was gonna be my buddy, you know. And she yeah. was like, we're do- like Brooke, stop being a bitch. Like we're doing this, and I was like. Because of you, I'm up. Like, I needed that energy. Yeah. You know? Because your friends, I feel like sometimes, like, sometimes you need an outsider to really push you there. Like, when I tried escargot, you need someone to, like, push you that you're not 100% comfortable with. Yes. Like, no. You're... Wait, you were so right. Yeah. Yeah. Something about that Shannon Ford energy. Yeah, yeah. I know. And now Shannon, I'd probably be like, no, Shannon. Yeah. But at that point in time, I was like, okay. <laughs> no, I felt that. Um, it was a blast. I love Scottsdale. I we need to go back. I'm gonna, Thank you, Scottsdale. Yes. Thank you, Scottsdale. Love you were you, great. Scottsdale. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring my co-host next time. <laughs> they wanted to meet you. Everyone I met was like, oh, when I saw you were Oh, you met like Oh yeah, yeah. I met some subscribers. Locals too. Wait, hello Arizona. Didn't no, we had we, outreach. They were there. like, you need to have a show here. Every single person said it. They oh were my yes, big gals and the go listeners. That'd be fun. Yes, and they were so fun and so cool. And Obsessed. Yes. Um, I just really like the city. I think it's a very. I didn't really know much about it. Yeah, I, I've never and been. it's bougie. There was a lot of like. <laughs> I said I made a joke. I was like, everyone in Scottsdale's filled to the gods because they were like <laughs> everyone is very like Botox it's, and it's a very I didn't realize this. There's a big um cougar culture because I've heard this. Really? Yes, because of the spring training that's there right now. Oh right, Florida and Arizona take all the spring training. Mm-hmm. So wow. there was some going on there, and they all of the bars had big signs like "Welcome Spring Training." Like, yeah. See any baseball players? I did not see any. At least that I saw the bar. Honestly, I was so drunk at that bar. Like, I don't know what I saw. But no, I do know what I saw like loosely. But like, I yeah, remember you like, oh, that guy's yeah. baseball. He's probably training. He's not. Yeah, I was so drunk that I I haven't gotten this drunk in so long. But I like needed, you know, she needed me. Yeah, so, like yeah. I needed to. Um, I walked up to a table. We like had gotten so we're all in our fits. We're like, we're going out. We call our Ubers. We get to the bar. We walk in immediately. They see this group of us. I thought I was a superstar in this moment because you know i was like you have this confidence way, girls, like whatever yes. no so way it's like me and the bride let's go girl yeah because i was like hype i was like getting her hype i was like we're doing this you know Wait, like that's whatever. so nice so then we walk in and the bouncer like grabs us he's like you ladies want to go upstairs to the tables i was like yes yes and you always just say yes whenever people offer you do you want to come to a table you say yes like you you know wow. so then we go upstairs he wasn't leading us to one table he was leading us to the room of the tables oh shoot so, then so you have he to was do like work exactly but don't 
I was up. So I was like, <laughs> I volunteer. I'm going to do the work for us. No I don't know why. I, I've been feeling a little too confident these days. And this knocked me down a little back down to earth. Because like, I'm not this bitch. I, I'm not that girl. Like, I've never, I've, you've never done that with us. I feel like it's usually like Katie or something. To yeah. Like go up. But I love this. Keep it up. I'm not that girl. Trip. Well, then I walked up. There was like a group of guys sitting there and like, not obviously not that I care. And, and most of the, the girls had boyfriends and stuff too. But we're like, I mean, we're going to get free drinks. Like we're going to do this, yeah, you know, it's if these guys passage. paid for a table. It's my friend's wedding. We're going to get free drinks. And it could be a bachelorette too when they have girlfriends and stuff. It's more of just like, we're all here. Yeah. it's a, I don't even think there needs to be any like. No, we're friends. And they walked us up there. They're like, we need girls, you know? Yeah. Obviously we need, need bodies. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> we got it's a group girls. of hot girls here. Go yeah. upstairs. Some hot yeah. females. Literally. So then I was, I walked up to this table because I like, we're sitting in a corner and I was like standing in the corner. They were about to go buy drinks. I was like, do not buy drinks. I will go get us drinks. <laughs> Don't worry about it because, you know, my oh friend's my wedding. God. So I was like, for Adriana, like, so then yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I go up to this table. I am working that table like a, what did you, what was your first name when you walked up? Do you remember? Like, like hey, I was boys. like, hey guys, like I was like, where are you guys from? And then at first they told me they were from Scottsdale. Like they're like, we're from here. I'm like offered, oh, gave, gave nothing. nothing. So I could tell, I was like, all right, tough crowd. Tough crowd. All right. No all right. What joke do I have lined yeah, up next? I got it. <laughs> Stand up comedian to the da- table of like, boys. Don't worry about it. I got another trick in my. In yep. my book. I got the next bit. You yeah. guys will like us. <laughs> and then we start talking. Like, and then I was like, "You guys." I was like, "Your first night, second night." Like, I forget what I was saying, but I know that it was very like I was just. It was very general. Yeah. And then somehow we ended on that they were actually they were like well back in North Carolina and I was like oh so you're actually from North Carolina oh. and I was like well I went to Georgia and they're like oh go dogs go yeah. dogs I was like oh it works, yes, it works. <laughs> and then I was like my friend over here really <laughs> pull over my friend Oh, Adriana or someone else? It was someone else. Adriana was already, they were already getting, like, it, I was flopping so hard, they were already getting drinks. Like, they were buying drinks. I was like, I flopped so hard on this. You must have been pretty drunk. I was so drunk. Like, they were probably like, get this bitch away from me. Like, I can't. Yeah. So then I, what did I say? I said, I was like, it's hard to I pulled my, one of my friends over. I was like, she really likes, they were drinking, like, Bud Light or something. I was like, she really likes Bud Light. They were like, cool. <laughs> At that point, at that point, I walked away. I was like, I am done. We ended up going, getting up to like other people's tables. Like, don't worry. Like, yeah. they just and we kept looking over at their table through the night. No one. They were like, it was just a group of guys. So like, they, they were letting, just like not vibing. That they night. weren't letting anyone approach. Why? Why would you get a table? At a I club don't then? know. I feel like it's a fun social thing, and like I wasn't even. I was just like, Let's, you're getting a you table know. at a club. You're wanting to meet friends, like unless it's like. Girls and guys all wanting to hang out, but it's a ton of dudes. It like. was a ton of guys. Like, yeah, they were in like their little vests, whatever. I was like, all right, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> we're just trying to get some free drinks over here. Pro- his name's probably Trip. <laughs> <laughs> if you have the live shows, you know. Yeah. Um, so that was my last time I'll be trying that. I really, for some reason, I've been feeling really hot these days, and that really brought me back down to earth. I was like, you I have, my head has been too in the clouds. Thank you. I bet you were like kept looking at the table to see if other girls were there. Oh, I, I did. I was like, I was like. Well, I was, like I was like, oh, and I kept pointing out to my friends. I was like, you see, guys, no other girls still. <laughs> so <laughs> no one's winning now. But I was like, and then like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm a big girl. I'll just buy the bride drinks myself. So yeah, then like I, that. That. Like, I know it was just going to be a more fun. Approach. It was an idea. I was like, let's see if we could finesse this for free. But you know, yeah. it didn't work then. But then we went back downstairs. It turned out that downstairs was even better than the upstairs. This was a bottled blonde, by the way. It was a long story, but it that was, name sounds cool. It was like they're um they're kind of like Nashville in the sense that they're like open they're like inside oh outside God, fun so fun but this was more clubby club music which was so my vibe that is so fun yes and very Adriana's vibe too so she was the bride like I know I'm telling the story from the perspective of me but like you know keep of course mind. like it's obviously the party. I just want to be clear that it was not um yeah and I posted that she I was like Adriana did an amazing job planning people were like why didn't like she planned her yeah. own batch she is like the type a like you know she likes Love. to be in charge she's like i got the google doc for my wedding you know i probably will play my own batch too because we're, we're kind of like that we i like definitely to be, will. yeah you like will. maybe someone i think you will too just because we definitely have certain like we just want things a certain way like totally i just i can't give up the reins completely but i feel like both of us will be like some things yeah maybe you could help make the reservation like there would be exactly you know we'll have creative direction <laughs> and then <laughs> execution can be helped with. exactly yeah like loose yeah um, yeah yeah, that's, that's what so I was thinking. Fun. So but you guys all were in an Airbnb? In an Airbnb, I forget the part of town, but it was like probably 10, 15 minutes from like 
old town which is like where the bars are um and then we did activities we went it was technically utving but it was like an atv tour in the desert that was like 40 minutes away oh we got a flat on the way back i didn't tell you that we like the no they provided us transportation oh like to and from and okay. on the way back they were bringing us back to the airbnb and <laughs> we just felt you were in Kenzie's car that time. Yes. I felt that same and you're sensation. Like, oh, I've been there before. I thought he like hit something, like an animal mm. or something, but it just and then we like looked to the side, they were like, There's no tire. Like oh, <laughs> So how so, long did that take to get that situation? We called Ubers from the side of the road. Oh, because you were going back, yeah. Yeah. So we called Ubers from the side of the road, did that. Um and went to In and Out and then we I, I posted the itinerary. I think I saved it under my highlight because people were asking just I had a lot of messages like I'm playing my bachelor there. I think it's a phenomenal destination for bachelor bachelorette party. Like it was so fun. How did like, maybe you don't know, but like how did Adriana know where to go? Had she been to Scottsdale before? Mm. She followed another influencer. Actually. Good question. It's, Oh my God. She told me the name of it. I think it's like Aaron's hole or whole errands or something. Okay. She does like recipes, but she just happened to do her bachelorette there too. And she like modeled a lot of the trip after her oh, bachelorette. Easy, so I think yeah. I'm realizing that with, bride stuff and that sort of stuff like that's why do you ever notice like so many like brides, a template they they like make a lot of money we've known this from links and stuff yeah and it makes sense because like because other people are doing it like yeah you know, like they're the bridal like influencer world is like a thing no yeah it's so true i guess there's enough people at that time that are also getting yes. married or if you're pregnant and you're doing like baby content uh -huh. Yeah, especially with us because like we're growing up with our audience. So I don't worry, guys. Hopefully, we'll all be getting married on the same time. Brooke and I will send our our dress wrecks. <laughs> like, um, uh, not for like wedding yeah. dress, but no, like but all for, the like, other things. Yeah, like the oh my god, uh, yeah, living in the white. She slayed her outfits. Like, absolutely looked gorgeous, beautiful, and so great to see my high school friends. And just had a really really fun trip. Like, I feel like we really went out that big night. But like, yeah. Oh, I did have a note though about um what my friends had told me. Oh, um, what did sorry, they tell because, you? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm like, sorry. Let me go through no, my sometimes notes. Sometimes you here. have to write things down to remember because you like want to yeah. remember exactly. Oh, another thing we did is hibachi to you. It's a chain. They have it in. We want to do it in Montauk this summer. Yeah, we, we should simply do it. need to. Yes, we should. They have it every like every major city, and they come to your house, and it's like you know. I thought it was just like a hibachi chef experience. They come in with like big water guns filled with sake That's they're so blasting funny. them in our mouths like it was <laughs> like i have a video <laughs> oh guys i am petitioned to get brooke to post this video because it's the funniest shit ever <laughs> like what if we just put on like the gals in the go instagram story or something maybe it, may, it is people so ask for it guys it is the fun so, wait i don't want to hype it up okay yeah it's just this video it's for getting sake little video yeah it's this little video okay um but they're great and they were a lot of fun um so my friends they know me of course like these are yeah. my friends that have been like literally my friends since elementary school which is so special and so nice and, like we know each other on such a deep level i could like actually get emotional talking about it because it's yeah. like you know it's like i'm so lucky to still have those people in my life definitely um and they were like brooke i mean you've always been this way but we really noticed because i just i'm direct i say it as it is yep. am i saying it as it is Ara? i yes, think also you are. living in new york city has made me even more blunt yeah and even more direct and even more direct. like i speak my mind you know if i'm yeah. hungry i'm like i'm fucking hungry like you know like i'm like yeah and i'm not bitching or i'm not no. doing anything just to be clear like i'm just as it is you know people are like oh my god i'm kind of I'm like i could eat you know and i'm like pass uh, me the food let's like, go eat <laughs> yeah yeah um they said that i have like because they're like do you live your life like this stressed out i was like yes a hundred percent like everybody knows it literally everybody in my life you this it's oh you. you're literally always stressed like someone will walk in and say brooke what what is it oh my that God. God. They, said that too. they were like why is it like this yeah everything is like ah like am i like what what is it do i have a tag on me so they said that they called it panic they were like it's panic they were like it, like you know there's like a um like a button like a panic button and they're gonna get me what well, they said because it's good and then i'm they so glad it. they said that. no That's they so did funny. and they took it even further than that they were like and you have levels of panic like so then i would say something oh, wow. i would be like like i'd be like <laughs> like um ali those shoes might hurt like a little just so you know like we're gonna you know like we're going for like a walk your or eyebrows something. are furrowing a little like bit. i'd be like so you know you know well she because like they would be like oh so how's my half i'm like you look great but like you know those shoes might hurt a little or something like that and they'd be like that was a green panic <laughs> yellow was mid and like red is like this is not okay like you know oh my god that's <laughs> i thought you would appreciate that yeah like the levels. way it is so <laughs> I true i now i'll call you out on it be like that wait so red. is it green yellow red or yeah, what's it's the like a stoplight 
okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so like you'd be like oh that was red like do you like notice when you're like doing that or it's just yeah it's- kind of we also like we also have that type of friendship too where we would be like very like bickery do you have friends like this that you like i feel like you don't really have those friendships actually <laughs> maybe a few i don't know even your friends from home i feel like you guys are not like we've always kind of been that way like it will yeah, be like you know like we'll be like oh I don't know. It's just like silly bickering. Yeah, like oh it's like God, old married course. couple style bickering. Like it's not actually like that. And I do feel like when you're really genuinely friends with someone, that's how you act. Like, yeah. you know, it's a sign that we've been friends since we were like literally five years old. Yeah, for you know? sure. So, so I guess it would come up like in that, like it would be like, okay, that was red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Red. <laughs> that is literally so funny. Like, oh, so oh, true. when the Uber came to like the wrong location, like that was a red. So oh, I was yeah. like, like, no, you're around the block. Like, no, yeah, I know. It's, like, it's an expression thing too. Like, I think yeah. it's also like an endearing thing. Like, you're ca- you care so much about everyone and like everything. And it's more of like that. I want to make sure everybody safely gets in and like we're yeah. on our way home. You know, all are accounted for. We got one, two, three, four. Like, <laughs> no, it's but just I'm so sick. hammered doing this too. Like, I was obliterated. I don't know how I was functioning, but I was like, <laughs> no, I think I said this on the podcast before. Like, whenever you call us an Uber and like you have to talk to them on the phone, yeah, you're right. It's always a panic. It's all <laughs> it's red panic always. Even if like they're not late, it's, you're not being mean to them. But it's like no. we're right here. I promise. Like we're right. Like, he's just calling to let you know he's a little behind. I don't know. It's so funny. <laughs> no, it's oh funny. My that God, that's just my personality, sharing. and I do, I guess, just operate at a very high stress level. So I don't know because, but I think that's also what living in the city will do to you. Yeah, you know, like you're always go go go. Like I do feel like it's oh, a I'm very definitely. Fast pace. Yeah, I'll catch myself. Like even when I'm recording, like just now, and I'm like, oh, like oh, okay, gotta bring myself yeah. back down. Like it's definitely, I feel it. Like living in New York City, it's constant. Like bracing yourself basically and we're just so used to everything so quick i'm like yeah. oh my gosh this is it's you know it's 10 like uh you know weighted restaurants whatever it is like i'm just so used to everything being so immediate so it's interesting and they are very laid back there it's very relaxed lots of like we didn't play golf or anything but like you drive by and you see like nice golf courses i like need to go back i love this place you would love it too thank you Scott. thank you scott so you've been great i would go <laughs> i'd go to we Scott's should have Stone. maybe you should have your bachelor out there someday maybe i'm really like into miami for my oh you are yeah that's like where i want to go um but i'm just to come yeah i know well we talked we had like a very hypothetical conversation like what we do all the time because it's fun yeah so f- about um that's like an, a yellow panic danielle just touched her water bottle and it's empty <laughs> i know i was like oh fuck <laughs> yellow <laughs> yellow <laughs> need um. water <laughs> We, we had a hypothetical conversation and after going on one now, I could say like it's completely different because there's just so many th- like I, I don't know shit about any of that. I'm so far away from that point in my life. And like this just taught me a lot, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, like, you know, who has to be invited and like, you know, what activities people like to do. Like there's just a lot to think about. There definitely is. It's a lot of moving parts. So, And she did a phenomenal job of like making sure everybody had a great time. But she did. It was a really like well-balanced itinerary. So, yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like you weren't like, go, 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 go. Everyone had time to like relax and like get ready. Yes, we had plenty of time to get ready, which I love. That's so important, especially when there's 13, 14 of you. Yes. It's important. Yeah. And I actually do like staying in an Airbnb like house because I think it's nice to have everybody in one place. Yeah, I know. I feel like that's the only thing. Like, see, I would love to do my bachelorette at the one hotel, but then... Not everyone can like talk and like get ready together yeah. and stuff. And like yeah. if I did at the one hotel, obviously, like I know at bachelorette's typically everyone pays, but like if I was like you guys are staying at the one hotel, I would obviously pay for that, and that's expensive. So I know I do feel like have to do if a you house. want like unnecessary upgrades, like that is like oh yeah, if, yeah yeah I feel like yeah if you want like certain things, it's like you have to pay for that because that's yes. unfair to like because usually people are going to a lot of bachelorettes in one year or whatever. Yeah, and I just learned a lot. We, like, do, broke into, like, everything about the wedding. You know, like, her dress, everything. And weddings are expensive. I know we knew this to be true, but I was like, whoa. It's, like, crazy when you actually hear the numbers. And uh-huh. Like, oh, my like God. The flowers are that much? <laughs> no, I know. And, like, no matter, like, what level wedding you're doing, I feel like it's just expensive. Yeah, and then if you want to do, like, the extra things, you know, like, oh, um, <sighs> you know, after, like, on their way out, everybody's going to get, you know... Um, a hat or something like little like th- th- it's just expensive it's so expensive all for love so that's what i learned now back to you <laughs> what a, what do you want from i don't me? know tell me about your weekend i feel oh, like you had you a- danielle had a very brook weekend i did <laughs> Brook era. I'm in my Brook era. You mean what I did on Saturday? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. so me. That is so you. I and I didn't post on my stories. Brooks like, so what are you up to? I was like, oh, you're wondering. Because huh? you told me you were like, I might like go to dinner on some like influencers on Saturday. I was like, 
I didn't see any influencer dinner content. Yeah, I know. No. You would have posted. Yeah. yeah, no, no. I mean, oh my God, hopefully that didn't come off bitchy when I no, said that. No, no, no. I don't mean it like that. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, no. I was I just like, oh, me and some girls talked about it, but we just, not, we were like, eh, like yeah. I, I was not in the mood to go out. No, it was like cold on Saturday. It wasn't extremely cold, but there was a couple weekends ago when Ryan's family was in town and two, my friend was in town. And so I couldn't like just stay in and be cozy. And I was like really cold that weekend. And I was like, if, it, if I'm cold and I don't want to be outside, I had no desire to do anything. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, I don't even want to go to a museum. I don't want to do anything. And it was a Saturday and Delaney was like, well, 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 you don't want to do anything. <laughs> Let's be horizontal. So she came over and we watched all five Twilight movies. Like, I don't know if I've literally ever done that for anything. Watched a movie marathon for anything? Yeah. No. If I've done a movie there, a marathon, it was like two movies. How long are the films? Like two hours Um, each? About two hours each. That's your whole day right there. We were sitting on this couch for 10 hours. Holy crap. And we like ordered food in between. It was fun. We like literally had to do like the baseball seventh inning stretch at one point to stretch (gasps) because I like I was going crazy. Delaney's like a big movie watcher. She like loves to chill. But for me, like I literally... (laughs) What? this is so virgo of me i actually meant to tell you, you know what i did during cleaned. no i knew Delaney would be annoyed if i did that i pulled up my computer and you know how we've been talking about notion yeah i created my own personal notion oh, during so this. passively watched yeah yeah well because some of the twilight saga movies i find a little bit more boring like i think eclipse is the most boring of all of them what number um, is that three it's always the middle one that's like yeah. breaking dawn both of those movies i was like in um i actually don't like i was watching breaking dawn part two and i was like i just don't think i ever saw this one like i just forgot did you read the books when you? Were i younger? think i literally only saw the first twilight and i didn't read the books i just yeah. never got into vampire stuff i'm not typically either i think for me it's more of a nostalgic thing because i read all of the books oh you did read all yeah of them. I, I was a twilight well oh. not clearly not because i like forgot a lot of things because I, I just am not into it as much anymore but it was like a dreary day whatever so we did that on saturday friday night Went to like a dinner at the Tiger and then went out for like a couple hours at the bar with like a couple friends. And that was fun. I just wanted like a Friday night. Friday night. Yeah. You said a girl's dinner. Yeah. I love like a Friday night girl's dinner. It's like my favorite. And then like Ryan, actually just Ryan joined us after because (laughs) his friends like ended up having to work late and he like was at his apartment like pre-gaming on his own. And he was like, well, I am coming now. So we're like, okay. So we went to Mother's Ruin um, in Olita, which was fun that's a fun bar yeah well we try to go spring lunch because i'm like obsessed with it now because i went the night before with a couple girls uh-huh. but it was a long line then saturday Jelaine and i watched movies sunday was like my get my, it was like a really good sunday i like cleaned my makeup brushes which i uh, need to do that yeah i promise i haven't done it in like years but also mm-hmm. i've had new brushes and stuff yeah, but like i yeah i get it though so that there's like good. that one eyeshadow brush that you're like probably getting an eye infection from yeah and you're like oh but it's always for like a dark color in the yeah. crease so like that's my dark colored crease eyeshadow brush you know and then you've got like your blush brush but i use it for all my blushes like it's disgusting so i washed all my brushes i did my laundry ryan and i went for a really long walk on west side highway and then we went to carbone oh amazing yeah um and my thing with carbone it was delicious ryan and i have been wanting to go i went once with you we went for lunch with emma back in the day and i feel like carbone was popular then it was hard to get the reservation but it hadn't like popped off on social media yet when you and i went remember Mm -hmm. so you know it's just been so hyped up now and i'm like wow maybe i just like because i remember liking the spicy rigatoni but i was like okay the spicy rigatoni is definitely really good um, but everything, it was, like, good. Like, I don't want to, like, shit on Carbone, but, like, I have eaten better Italian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. Um, but we did see a celebrity, Victor Cruz from the Giants. He, like, fully walked oh. in. I, I didn't know who he was. I knew the name, but Ryan was like, oh, my God. And what I also really liked. I think he's a big deal. Is it, yeah, is I definitely. quarterback? No. Maybe. I don't know I don't anything. Know. I'm a Giants fan, but I still don't even know. No, I mean, I definitely don't know. Um, But what I really liked was that, you know, like, we like kind of got nervous when we walked into our room. We were like, oh my God, I promise we have a reservation, you know, all the things. And uh, everyone in there was so nice. Like she was like, oh, I love your hair. And they, it's not like, oh, uh, you have a reservation. You know, like they could easily be yes. like when you walk yes. into a designer store and they like treat yeah. you like shit. And you're yeah. like, actually, I am par- purchasing yeah. something. I'm like, why are you bullying me? Like I'm about to spend thousands of dollars yeah. here. Like yeah. why are you making me feel like shit? I'm still going to buy it, but why are you making me feel like yeah. shit? Um, and everyone was so nice. Like our waiter was so cool. He was so like, I wonder what celebrity you guys are going to see tonight. Like they're very fun which i appreciated and oh, made it really awesome. fun but it was so funny because like we were sat in the far corner 
and it was like right next to where the waiter like hangs out basically mm -hmm. and so he was just so he did not give a fuck like Brian and I'd be talking and be like yeah I agree and he was just listening so it was like a three person date oh love that yeah and it, <laughs> so it was really it was fun but it was just like it everything we'd be like we actually almost went to comedy cellar after we were feeling it and he was like oh yeah you always have to go and we're like oh hello you're still there <laughs> was it booked um no but i honestly was so full i was like mm. i can't even sit any longer we like went for a walk did you like the apps i love that the mods and yeah the, when they yeah, cut the oh. mods that was good and they like bring it's cool they like bring you extra stuff as an experience but yeah i don't know i'm not like like the vibes were nice i don't know i just don't want people to be like i have to go to Cabron. no Cabron i feel I like it, it's almost better to go when you're in either vegas or miami because they're easier to get reservations at yes and it's like it, you know it, but it's still good i, I no know. it's so good and like if i offer the opportunity i will go yeah. again but like it's very expensive too i just don't want people to feel like oh my god my life my new york trip isn't perfect if i don't go to carbone you probably won't get a reservation you won't get a reservation and it's not like and it's definitely not a place i would go before i like went out like it's like classy vibes in there mm -hmm. like very like old-fashioned it I is feel. you're so right it's not like wear your mini skirt it's like wear nope. your uh pleated pants and yeah like, yeah and your suit jacket <laughs> yeah that's how i feel at least i mean i know like kim k goes there but like i feel like it's more of like it's not like trendy yeah does kim k eat the spicy rigatoni i don't I, like, know i can't picture her doing that in her like little skims number like i don't know like, i mean that's the best thing on their menu oh, i it's feel good it is good yeah yeah sure. i only went that one time we had lunch there I've that was a like, lovely lunch yeah the pasta sauce and stuff those places i would say if it's hard to find a reservation lunch is better or if you go and say i don't know if carbone is a bar but if you go and they say don't. you sit at the bar or whatever usually you can get in no i know because we're like oh we'll just go one time and sit at the bar no they don't have a bar should have figured but there's a celebrity in there they don't want just people's like sitting at the bar or standing at the bar i should have figured i'm um, glad that you got to experience that though for real for real yeah it was kind of like I, that was so our four year anniversary as you guys are listening to this is tomorrow oh on Thursday God. so we were like because he got the reservation he couldn't get it for Thursday so um we were like we'll just do it today like we're, we're gonna cute. do something on Thursday because like I'm just so like precedent and yes, like that like we must yes. do something on our four year anniversary but so it was a good way to spend it wow that's crazy four years I know it's so nuts it's a long freaking it's a time. long time I just always say though it's like two of them are like college years like they don't count to me yeah, they I count guess. but like you learn more as you like are an adult. Totally. But it's four four years is four years. Four years yeah. kissing only one man. Damn. Isn't that crazy? Damn. I know. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Well, no, I, it is crazy because like my friend who just got engaged, I think that they dated for like yeah, four years or five years, whatever. I was like, Damn. 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 <laughs> and then you're engaged for I don't know. Everyone's timelines are also so different too. So I know. You can't even know like there's timeline, literally no yeah. comparison or whatever. Yeah, never compare yourself because everyone's on a different path. Yeah. For real. But um, that was a good ketchup and mustard. Do you yeah, have anything really else was. to say? No, I don't think so. I think we are chilling and uh, we um, have some fun episodes coming up for sure. Obviously, this one, including with Mads. We have another guest in a couple weeks. Oh, yes. That you guys are going to be very excited about. It's one of our friends. Um, long time coming. Long time coming. She hasn't been on yet. You can leave your guesses on this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to hop into chatting with Mads. Let's get after it. Enjoy. Enjoy. I feel like that really cool TikTok like shower product that everyone has is the Tree Hut Scrub. I have it in my shower right now. I love it for removing myself tan or just like overall giving myself a little exfoliant. Even in the wintertime, it's nice to remove dead skin. So the creators of America's number one body scrub have actually just released new hydrating gel washes. So this is all from Tree Hut. We are big fans of them here at Gals on the Go. And these washes are super cool. They have a skin quenching lather with long lasting scent. All of these washes are formulated with a hydrating oil complex so this is going to help plump the skin they have renewing antioxidant rich avocado kiwi and orange oils they're really great for clearing your skin of dirt oil and grime while still balancing your skin's microbiome all of the washes also have a matching scrub that's made with real sugar shea butter and a special six oil blend that leaves skin smooth and hydrated so they have like really fun scents like a cocoa culotta and they have one that's more focused on like vitamin c see so you can go and uh, shop in store or online check them out i feel like it really completes your shower routine and like why not make your shower experience that shower that's why i love doing it up with tree hut you can shop now at target and ulta online and in store 
Okay, guys, we're here now with Mads. Hi, How guys. are you? How are you? Look oh, at I'm you. Gotta, You're meant for this. I gotta get glam for my girls. <laughs> so honored. Thank you for coming to us on your day off, right? Mondays Thank are your you. day off. Yes, Mondays are my day off. I kind of do like all of my R&R on these days and they catch up for the work, so... Definitely well, happy to be here. Uh, we are honored to have you and talk about hair. I feel like we actually haven't ever really talked about this, like on the no. podcast, just like our little tips. <laughs> like, what We've we had requests to yeah. have you on because we both go to you as our yes. hairstylist oh in New York gosh. City. Oh my gosh, I feel so honored. Because I feel like people will ask both Brooke and I all these questions, like, oh, what's a gloss? What's a glaze? What what kind yeah. of essentials? All these get? things. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know, ask Mads, you know? So we're like, <laughs> we just need to have you on the podcast. So we have an episode to be like, listen to this episode. Listen to this episode. This is everything we're going to tell you. Refer back to it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually meant to tell you, I'll tell you on camera. Um, <laughs> the other night I was at this event for Spritz Society and it was their opening at Ruby's Cafe. Cute. Oh, and Ruby's. one of the girls, her name's Danielle. Danielle. Yeah, she, well, we didn't know each other and we were talking, talking, whatever. And she was like, who does your hair? And I literally start to say, and she goes, is it Mads? <laughs> Just like so many blondes in New York City go to you. It's yeah. guilty. I am guilty. I feel <laughs> like I have humbly taken over the city, which is so nice. It's awesome. And what makes me like so happy is that like, I'll find like little pockets of like friendships everywhere within like if you're at a restaurant or a blogger or if you're a fitness mm -hmm. instructor like it's so nice how like everyone kind of knows one another and you guys all know me. That is, <laughs> so, that fun. is so cool. No I feel like you Danielle connected me with you then because you were like when Danielle first moved here she was like oh I'm switching it up like I'm gonna find a new person in the city because you know when you move you have to like find your new people. Yeah. yeah you can't your hair go person. home all the time. Yeah yeah of course um, especially if you're blonde I think that's more yeah, yeah it's way more of an <laughs> so upkeep. It's, yeah. it's way more of an upkeep. <laughs> but I remember you were like oh I'm going to Matt's hair like and I was like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah, Matt's hair. Like, yeah. she, like she's Matt's just hair. Matt's hair. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Like, so I, many, I, I did like a that question. I, like, no. Yeah, like, you don't know Matt's hair. You it's live so in funny. New York like, City. Everyone knows me as Matt's hair. And it's so funny. Like, I think like either one of my class passes or my Google accounts is Matt's hair. Oh, so my like, God. when I check in, they're like, Matt's hair. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. like, that's me. Wait, that's so funny. Oh, because they might think that's your last name. Yeah. Or yeah. Well, it's also like my email. So I thought that was really funny. That is so, I mean, that's definition of creating a brand for yourself. I know. We would love to Everyone see knows it. you from it. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you are really popular in the like influencer scene, but also just so many people you are the hairstylist go to. So we're excited to have you talk about you. products and things. Um, yeah. I guess we can go ahead and get started. Well, you know where we should get started is like what Danielle and I both have. To I was going to say, hair. yeah. Because that's a commonly asked question. I think that we both get. Is, I want to know how you guys both found me. Oh, Danielle oh, found you. So I yeah. found you. I posted a question box. Nice. I was like, I'm moving to New York and I wanted like a lash lift person, hair, a spray mm -hmm. tan, and so many people. I was like, whatever I see the most of. Awesome. And it was Matt's hair. And then I went to your page. And obviously, like, I think it's so important to have your page be something representative of like your work. Totally. And I loved all the hair. So I was like, Duh. I feel like I try so hard with my Instagram to try to make sure that it's not just blonde, exactly. just this, just that. It has like a really good mix. So it speaks to both of you guys. I so, completely yeah. agree. No, because then I was like, and then I asked you, I was like, can she do brunettes? And then we, I went to your page, of course. And yeah. Loved, so yeah. Yes. So that is great. Um, but I think that we should start with what Danielle and I, not to be like all about us, but yeah. <laughs> if you want the Danielle Carolyn look. <laughs> oh, you want the Danielle Carolyn look in Brooke McGuire. Yes. I know. It's so funny because I'm literally getting my hair done. As this episode's going up, I'm in I think Mads you're in on Thursday. <laughs> Wait, really? I really think you are. Oh, my God. I mean, we can double check that, but I really think... the calendars. Oh, that's you're, so... I really feel like you're coming in maybe this week or next week. Ooh, I what? have Wednesday at Yeah, one. Wednesday at one. Okay, oh. you. I got nervous. <laughs> I was like, I can't come Thursday. <laughs> like, it was so check. funny. I was like out with my girlfriends. I don't even know when it was. We were at Hotel, <laughs> Hotel Chantel. And they both look at me and they're like, well, I have you on Thursday at 10. I have you at Thursday uh, at 1. And I'm territorial. like, I was like, uh, let's make sure of that right now. Yeah, true. Because I guess like for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm coming on Wednesday. And you're like, okay, well, I have so many people every day. I'm like, like, And you love everybody. So there's so many. I love everyone. But I am definitely like a day by day person mm, of yeah. like looking at my schedule. I mean, I have to just absorb what's in the day for Yeah, oh, like I wake up the same. and see. Yeah, Danielle texted me about like a spray tan appointment like three weeks I knew weeks you were going to say something about yeah, No, no, I'm glad you did it because I, you know, you got me thinking about it. But she's like, thinking I'll schedule a spray tan like March 15th or something. I was like, Whoa. She's like, when is March 15th? March 15th? It's not even I'm March up. yet. Like, <laughs> she's like, it's 
still February. Can't, yeah, can't think about that no, right now. No, I appreciate it. That's the good thing about having a planner type of friend in your yes. life. Yeah, it's we essential. It's essential. Yeah. Okay, so Truly. back to her. If, if I am looking at Danielle Carolyn's gorgeous locks <laughs> here and I'm like, you know, I want to come to a salon and get like a similar cut, color situation, what would I ask for? So Danielle's color currently right now, um, this was back when we brought her fully, fully blonde. So we do a traditional <laughs> highlight on her. She wanted to go for a very like maximum blonde look with a slight money piece. So you'll see kind yes. of like in the front of her hair, she has a little brightness around the hairline, whereas like everywhere else has a really good balance of highs and lows but primarily super blonde um so you would ask for a full highlight i do a tiny little root tap in the front to connect her money piece so it's not like super stark but i usually do like slices in the front normal weaving in the back but basically an all-over highlight with a little money piece i love it and then for the haircut i know you didn't do it your assistant Mika? she's not my assistant no. she's my fellow stylist. everyone thinks she's my assistant you're but a like, stylist she's just my stylist her name is mika michaela um she did the cut but i know you cut brooke's hair yeah but it's like a blunt cut right i know so <laughs> i like to share i mean that's like something that i'm super passionate about is you know sharing clients and sharing the wealth and yeah, everything great. like that but you know I think she specializes in more of that blunt cut and yeah. she's very precise so I think she was a better fit for you whereas Miss mm-hmm. Brooke is more <laughs> of my long layered baby Love it. yeah um but you get a blunt cut with I think just some face framing I think you went face framing last time but yeah and then then we'll do all Brooke. But oh, I'm just no, going to do a no, couple because I've going. had a few different eras of hair with you. Yeah. And I have quite, and I loved them all. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to do that again. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens I feel on like Wednesday. we've definitely had some eras of your hair. I, we've yeah. literally done so many. Um, so the other one that I wanted to ask is when I, like over the last winter, what is the, when I did like the darker roots, like the blend, like a root melt? Yes. Or so we'll start off like where we first had you when you first came to me. Like you were coming to me normally just to get a blonde teasy light. You like yeah. dimension in between your blonde, which helps make your blonde pop if mm-hmm. there's darkness against it. Um, but we are basically just doing like a teasy light okay. money piece for sure, blending it all in. Um, but then when you kind of wanted to go more into that lived in look, yes, we came in. That was your winter look. You came in. We did your normal teasy light. We kind of picked up bigger pieces but we root melted you. So that's when we take a gloss. Oh, and, I do. oh my gosh. I'm like gonna my favorite thing in the others. whole world. Yeah. The gloss. <laughs> um, so basically there's two ways of doing a gloss, but we'll kind of refer back to what we're talking about right now is we melted your blonde. So that kind of gave oh. you a lot of depth at your root and a lot more of that brown color. Basically right. we matched your base color, which is your yeah. roots. Um, we melted it down so it had that more lived in look so it gave you that more like natural grow out and just easy vibe for you to like hang out with and i still did money pieces i remember so we did a root melt money money pieces pieces, basically Mm -hmm. um cool Wow. So that's my color. Blonde is so much more complex, I feel like, than There's like so much. The, versus, well, I, can, I guess I can't speak for like all of her nuts and blondes. But, like, I was going to say, I actually oh, disagree with really? you because I feel like blondes are so, I don't want to say easy, but they're, I don't want to say easier than brunettes, but they're just as complex, honestly. Oh, really? There you because go. with brunettes specifically, and especially with yours, like, I feel like a brunette either loves warmth or hates warmth. Oh, and yeah. you specifically you hate warm. I hate it my hair starts pulling red and I'm like get yeah. it out oh, like, I like get it. this yeah. out of here yeah. I can't stand totally. it totally I would rather it be more of like a bluish like black hint of like in my color you know what I'm talking about yes, almost like um, yeah like really really dark because yes. I do feel like when I start to be out in the sun like six weeks post treatment I'm like yeah. oh I see that redness like that's how yeah, I know yeah. I gotta come back in okay so then what what do I ask for so basically what you ask for is a gloss and your specific gloss is a cooler tone gloss so you don't like to see any red you like to see cool tones so we gloss you at about a level like five six ash brown and a gloss is a demi permanent color it usually lasts about like four to six months or four to six (laughs) weeks um it depends on how much you wash your hair if you're an everyday washer you're gonna see that your gloss fades out within almost a month two months max so that's where you're kind of getting your like four to six weeks Mm -hmm. out of that gloss and that's how long it usually lasts but if you don't wash your hair as much it lasts you a little bit longer. Um, But what's really great about a gloss is it adds a lot of shine, adds a lot of depth to the hair, 
but it can either cancel out a tone or deposit a tone. So for you specifically, we do both. So we cancel out your red, we deposit you a little bit darker because your roots come in a little lighter, mm -hmm. and then we leave it on for the max amount of time, which is about 20 minutes, and yeah, then you have That's lots amazing. of shine. It does, I feel like my, I've always associated, maybe I should speak for that, because I've done blonde like at two points in my life, but we won't talk about that. But whenever I go and get the, because that <laughs> I was can't actually, I can't, you showed me one of those pictures yeah, one time, yeah. she was like, when I did Balayage in Ombre, LA, and I was right? like, I did it in 2016, right and then I did it in 2020 again, because I was like, you know, it was COVID, and I was like, I need a massive change in my life, yeah, like, I, I did it a little bit on the ends, yeah, when I moved to the city for the first oh, time, I'll show you the pictures, yes, yeah. It was never like full blonde, no, I guess like I 2016 know. was like full, yeah. it was just sprinkle, was, a little yeah. Dri a little drizzle, as it was I a say little drizzle, brunette. which was fine. It's just my hair gets very, it gets yellow fast. Like it's just, it was not, it was never my look. But, but that's back to what I was saying about the gloss. It can either deposit or cancel out. So like with brunettes, like if you do go lighter, you have to maintain your gloss because mm -hmm. when you're lifting the hair, you're going through levels of lightness. And as a brunette, you have those unwanted pigments that you're going to be picking up: the oranges, the reds, mm -hmm. the yellows. Even as a blonde, you have those problems, but. As a brunette, you kind of have to like face your gloss a little more often than your blonde. Totally. But I've always associated whenever I get a gloss, like my hair feels so strong and so healthy. And so, yeah. so like I've always been like excited to get, you know, versus I feel like blondes go and like sometimes it's like a whole thing. It's like you're there for hours and it's like we got to keep going. Oh, I pack a lot. Lighter and lighter and lighter. Hours. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I snacks. She's like, oh, I brought my snacks. Still Brooks in and out an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm like, I'll it's be here great. for, because one day we were there the same day. Yeah, remember? yeah. And I was like, I'll be here for four hours. Like, I was like, oh, I'm done. Like, yeah. already. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's it. Done. She's like, I get my gloss for twenty minutes, and then my haircut takes about an hour, yeah. -ish, maybe even less yeah. sometimes. But but unreal. I do really like it, and I feel like maybe it's just because this is what I've been getting since I was younger. Like my yeah. hairdresser like introduced me to it when I was like in high school or something. I feel like so then I just everywhere I went when I went to Georgia for college, like I just kind of knew to ask for a gloss. I'd be yeah. like, I want a darker gloss, cooler tone, like whatever. Well, it's super non-committal, which is nice. Like I said, it doesn't grow out in a harsh line like permanent color does. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's really nice. You can play with tones if you're kind of like in between it, much like blondes, but brunettes, like if you are wanting to be more of a cooler brunette, like you can play around with how dark and how like cool you go, cool. or you can play around with how like rich you go with some more warmth or something like that. So it's yeah, definitely really non-committal. And like I said, it only lasts about like four to six weeks. So that's really cool. Yeah. Um, question about gray hairs because I just had this thought because my friends and I were like getting ready on this bachelorette trip that I was on. I thought I said, you were going to say you had gray hair. I was like, no, you don't. No, I, do, <laughs> I don't. But I had some friends that were like, oh, well, wow, it's time for me to like get dyed. I have some grays or whatever. Yeah. But I would not or they would not treat that with a gloss. So that would be a permanent color. So you can treat it with a gloss. It is not going to be 100% full gray coverage. So um, like I said, demi, semi, permanent color. With a demi-permanent gloss, you're not kind of getting that full coverage of those grays. You can mask them, but it's not going to be as if someone grows out with like stark grays or those stubborn grays. It can soften it. It will not cover it 100%. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I just had that thought because I was yeah. like, damn, do you have to like convert to like a whole new oh, method? Oh, gotta yeah. convert, baby. Yeah. Permanent color life. And that's again, but that's going to be 100% gray coverage. It's going to grow out and I don't want to say a harsh line, but you're going to see a line of demarcation when it comes in, depending on how much percentage of gray you have. You could have gotcha. anywhere from like zero to 25%, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 100. Would you do the whole head or would you just do like the strands with yeah, the dye? Do the, well, I mean, yeah, you got to do the roots. Oh, you could just damn. do like either. I don't I know why I'm imagining you painting like one gray. <laughs> single gray yeah yes. which is just usually not a lot well i don't know everyone's different yeah i mean like i have a girl who comes in she has which i do as well um i have like a little strip of gray right here but because i'm Cute. blonde it kind of looks a little oh mm -hmm. true more Blended fluid in, yeah. but she's darker so it's like i have to just do kind of her hairline and i don't do the rest of her hair because she doesn't have gray hair there so it's like i try to match as best as possible that natural color yeah. look. color will never mimic natural color completely but I do my best of doing that and I think that it offers 
the same effect for her but you don't yeah. have to do the entire head if you have just like little pockets of yeah gray. okay totally. i was just wondering but most likely you do yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. most likely you do most likely we're doing no. the whole head um so also brooke and i both at points have mm-hmm. had extensions <gasps> yeah yes. um so and we get so many questions and again i'm like i don't really know so we both I had what even today for you guys oh. I, put, yeah. I put it in today for you it looks, it looks so really cute nice. it looks yeah. gorgeous how long is your natural hair like medium girl she's been growing oh my god but uh we'll get into that but my natural hair i want to say sits about like right past my collarbone right oh, now love. i mean there's a there's a good and a bad thing about extensions you know you get addicted yeah. and you know you have this idea of how thick your hair is for the longest time but um any sort of overuse of extensions kind of yeah. is not like a good thing mm-hmm. so, i mean i had a i've always like er, how should I say this? I feel like it didn't really ruin my hair personally, like no. extensions. Like mm-hmm. I, I do believe like if you're treating it right, cause I sure. found I would use less heat on my hair. 100%. I'm, I'm more saying it in the sense of if you do like years oh, of like long wearing term. extensions like I, I had. So like I had started been wearing extensions since I was in seventh grade. What? <laughs> yeah. Like clip in or like permanent? Mm-hmm. That just also shows like how much you love hair. Yeah. Like, like that's cute. Oh. It's really funny. Seventh so like, grade. I mean, seventh grade, I'll never forget. I was in my mom's bathroom and I saw these clip in extensions and I was like, mom, what are these? And fact, fifth grade. Fifth grade, I dressed oh up like gosh. Avril Lavigne and she put these little like black and red extensions oh in. Oh, so, so that cute. was really cute. But I remember the first time I actually started wearing extensions was in seventh grade. Okay. I saw these clip ins. I wanted longer hair. I wanted thicker hair. And I was like, Mom, like, can I get a pair? And she was like, Yeah, let's go to Sally's. Like, oh, pop some extensions that's in. So nice. But then, like, as I kind of like loved doing hair, I wanted to experiment with color. Mm-hmm. My parents, like fashion colors. So you're talking about pinks, blues, oh, purples. Yes. My parents wouldn't let me dye my hair, so I would dye my extensions. And I would have like really cool rainbow hair. Like uh-huh. I would do like a blue ombre, a purple ombre, like a purple to magenta to pink ombre, like all these different things. So I started like at a really young age wearing clip-ins. Then when I went to hair school, I graduated to the to the more mm-hmm. permanent thing. Oh yeah. Which is kind of like what we do with you guys. Yeah. So you guys both have had specifically a brand called The Hair Shop. They do a method called the One Step Weft. And a lot of people, I think, have been more familiar with hand-tied wefts. Super huge right now. I think it's been around for, I want to say, like, five-ish years. You know, like, being super Mm -hmm. popular. Um, But, I mean, Mm -hmm. I think that one-step weft, which is what you guys have, is a little more gentle. It actually grows out in the direction of the hair. You actually had hand-tied. Yeah. You had 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 hand-tied. And I converted you over to one step because I just feel like it's a little more delicate on the hair. It doesn't pull any you. So it doesn't pull the sides where you're more sensitive on the sides of your scalp and closer to your hairline. You're not pulling back with it. It actually sits right where the hair direction is growing down. So Mm. it's not pulling back for you. Mm -hmm. I prefer it. I think it's the most gentle on the hair. And like you said, you had a really great experience having them in. If not, helped you grow your hair, Mm -hmm. which I've experienced as well having them in. But that's my favorite method of extension personally that I offer Um, other than clip-ins which I think are super fun you know if you're going out it can change your look you can use it with a ponytail like something like that but you guys definitely both had the one step left they looked it. amazing. I look back. We look back at like the videos that we were doing yeah. on the podcast that time. We're like, our hair oh looks so, like so voluminous. Yes. I'm like, wow, she's nice and thick. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. It was, and there's definitely time. I'm sure I'll get extensions again. Like, it's just so fun. Um, But like, it's always like during the summer, I just like, I always get my extensions out. And then I was like, yeah, I'm just going to cut it. So then I just never put them back mm-hmm. in in the it was fall. Your short girl era. Short girl, short girl, short era. Short, girl short era. Short hair. I am yeah. short too. So. Short, <laughs> short, short girl. hair, short girl era. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's so fun. It, uh, it's it's fun to play it up a little bit but it's always so hard when brooke and i because brooke's hair had been pretty consistently the same for like a while in a good way Mm -hmm. and i feel like i'm always changing it up and we have like another big photo shoot coming up and i'm like oh my god i have to like decide because
because our live show announcement photos, I had like the lived in roots and then I went like blonde like a week later and I'm like, you were like, she's oh like, no, so I, I don't look different. like the yes. girl on the camera. She's like, she's new here. I know. <laughs> so it's like always a thing with like the podcast stuff or just my like photos in general, you know, because mm-hmm. so. then they get yeah. outdated. The hair is like the first telltale sign yeah. that it's like an outdated it's photo. Like, oh, that's yeah. outdated. And the nails. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. So I'm it's always okay. yeah. like, because you post the photos like two months later, you're like, oh, damn, like sure. I had, was freshly done there and now I'm not. So you're more spontaneous. Yeah. No, yeah. Exactly. It's something I'm willing to deal with, but it's just like funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very niche problems. Yeah, very niche yeah. problem. Okay, so that's enough about Brooke and I. Thank you so much yes. for of delving into that just so we can, again, like refer to this episode. A of lot of course. people have questions. I love hearing you kind of talk yeah. about it. Um, so you kind of hinted at it a little bit, but I feel like we should talk about hair health. Totally. Because yes. um, you said like you've been trying some new things to keep your hair healthy yeah. and like obviously you give us tips all the time. With heat, heat protectant, like, it, like, just give us like a a rundown of like everything we healthy. should be doing to keep yeah, our hair healthy. Yeah, I don't even know where heat. to guide you here. If you want to talk about hair health, or if do you want to start with hair? Let's health? do hair health. Okay. I was okay. getting ahead of myself. Hair health always comes down to your nutrition, mm. heat, and mechanical, or like I would say color damage and mechanical damage. So with your hair health, it definitely comes down to the foods that you're eating. So you're going to want to eat a lot of like, you know, rich foods. So your butters, your fatty acids, proteins, your hair is built of proteins and keratin. So when you're like eating nutritious food and healthy food, you're going to see that within your Mm -hmm. hair. Naturally, a lot of people like suffer from other things. So you're going to need to supplement it everywhere else. That's where you're going to get into more of your supplements, your hair, skin and nails. Mm -hmm. A lot of those are built with vitamin D, vitamin A, biotin. Those are the kind of like those minerals and like supplements that you need that are going to have the most benefit on your hair. Okay. So that's kind of nutrition wise. But when it comes down to, we'll say coloring, any sort of coloring that you're doing, unless you're depositing color, Mm -hmm. unfortunately you're blowing up that cuticle. You're going in there, you're lifting through pigments. You're kind of, I don't want to say damaging the hair, but in a sense you are damaging the hair. Mm -hmm. So the less like excessive coloring that you're doing and not overlapping your blonde all the time is going to be where you're going to find a lot of your hair health. So try not to overcolor your hair. Make sure your stylist isn't overlapping your blonde a lot. Oh, true. What does that mean? Like, so like say the like, ends. Yes. So like when you're highlighting hair or doing your cheesy lights, there is going to be a sense of overlap. So when you're putting the bleach on the hair, you're going to kind of, kiss the other part of the blonde because you want it to do it Mm -hmm. but when you're dragging the bleach through roots to end or wrapping it in foil every time that is just over processing the hair Mm -hmm. you are over bleaching the hair which is going to result in elast like losing the elasticity the proteins amount in your hair like really kind of damaging that inner follicle and inner bonds of those hair so making sure that you're not over coloring your hair often is super key now comes down to mechanical damage that's going to be everywhere from your blow drying to your straightening to your flat ironing to everything and above yeah excessive heat is very very common with a lot of my clients and I think the biggest thing where I'm seeing a lot of my clients being like oh like I feel like I have a lot of breakage right now or whatever is because the lack of heat protectant I know you guys had this question there. Your drugstore shampoos, Mm. which contain a lot of parabens and um, sulfates in them, which dry out the hair, dry out the scalp. Um, And then just, like I said, not using any like at-home treatments. So that's kind of where you can find your reparativeness at home, but Mm. not using excessive heat when you're styling your hair is super major. Yeah, I feel like when I was younger, I used to like – blow dry my hair, then straighten it so I could curl it and mm-hmm. all this stuff. The Dyson Air Wrap coming into the game has definitely helped because I feel like it. you like blow dry and curl all in sure. one. If I don't know if you feel the same. I <laughs> I am a new oh, no. Dyson girly. I've had the blow dryer for a long time, right. like the just traditional yeah. blow dryer, which I absolutely love. I think it is an amazing blow dryer, very expensive blow dryer, yep. but a very good blow dryer because it actually doesn't spurt out heat. It actually has a continuous um, oh. continuation of heat, which is really, really nice in the airflow that happens with it. But with the Dyson Airwrap, 
and the Revlon Styler or the Shark, whatever you have, you have to make sure you are using a heat protectant. Oh, of course. 100%. And when you are doing it, make sure that you are taking out as much moisture, unless you have super duper curly hair, as much moisture as you can. Mm. Any sort of blow dryer and any sort of heat that you're just like wet to dry, you guys are not stylus. So you're just sitting there and you're just using this thing just Out, on the front yeah. of your hair all the time excessively. And I think yeah, that gotcha. it's fine to refresh your style, but use a style refreshing heat protectant spray. There's a, amazing ones on the market, which I'll put in my product recs as well. But I think just really making sure with that Dyson Air Wrap that you're not over drying your hair. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's good. Um, to know. I so would you recommend like today I use the dice I'm not that my hair looks amazing, but anyways, but yes, it I, does. Not it is. Uh, but I washed my hair last night, like yeah. let it air dry and then I cool. did a dry today. Do you recommend using a dry more or you think it is fine to go from wet to dry, but just be careful? Like damp to dry. Yeah, I would say sorry, like damp to dry. I would dry. definitely okay. say damp to dry. Always use a pre heat protectant, even okay. if you're waking up and you have dry hair. I did it today when I was styling my own hair. Use that heat protectant. Spritz it on your hair. Touch up your makeup. Do something else. Let it sit in for like a couple of minutes so you're not like putting it on your, like spraying it on your hair, going right into blow drying. Gotcha. Let it, let it marinate for a minute. Also, because I don't know, maybe this is just me wondering, when I spray on hair protectant, I'm like, was that enough? Like, do you like get after it? Like, yeah, not like get after it, but like always make sure you're not like putting it right up to your hair because okay. then okay. you're just concentrating at that one little space. True. Flip your head over. Spritz it, oh, okay. get, get a All good over. vibe in it, you know. But if you're not flipping your head over, just make sure that you're holding it out at least arms with length. True. Spritzing so as much as you can, separating your hair. I know I have a mic in my hand, but like no, I'm separating yeah. your hair and like kind of getting in between so you're actually so being covering thorough. Not, being thorough. Yeah. Like not just hitting the top layer of your hair. Your most delicate areas are your hairline underneath here, but you still okay. want to get everywhere else yeah. so you're not mm-hmm. just like like I said, spritzing those No, that's areas. a good totally. explanation. I could be better about like being thorough. Um, Section the hair, spritzer. I like that. Making mm-hmm. sure you're thorough. I like that. Thank yeah. you. That is a very helpful tip. Um, people who are complaining, I guess this kind of goes along with hair health. Thinning, I feel like is a really big concern. Like yeah. hair just overall not having like, the, at least in my friend groups, this is a big conversation. You know, I want to have thicker hair. Like I feel like, you know, I don't have as much hair these days. Like mm-hmm. as we get older, I guess we naturally, you know, we take it for granted that hair we yeah. had in high school, that nice thick, <laughs> I know. And that's like super oh, common. I mean, as we get older, we lose hair. Like, uh, we're going into jobs. We're stressing out. We just came out of a pandemic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People who had COVID, COVID hair loss is a huge thing that people mm. experienced. Um, but I mean, as far as hair loss, I mean, we lose about 50 to 100 strands a day. So when you're Whoa. combing or in like, when you're in the shower and you're like, oh my God, I'm losing clumps of hair. You're probably not. <laughs> like, oh, that's I good always, to hear. That's like, I answer. always tell people, I'm like, okay, like, if you're losing a lot of hair, like, if it is not the size of your palm, you're fine. You lose about 100 strands a day, typically, okay. per person. When you're combing out, like, you're going to have hair shed as well. Whether you're in the shower, doing it, at, like, after the shower, just make sure you're using something in your hair to comb out your hair. Start from the bottom. You'll find that you have less hair loss shedding that way. But as far as like people getting older or having COVID or just like experiencing Mm -hmm. like nutrition issues, hair loss is a thing, but that's when kind of the supplements that I was talking about before, that's where you can kind of bridge that gap Mm -hmm. and kind of do those things. There is something more extensive you can do, which is PRP. That is where they take your um, blood. They take out Mm -hmm. the white blood cells. They can re-inject it back in the hair. That is like a super extreme. It's like a Kardashian thing. Yeah. It's like a super extreme thing. But if, if some of your girls are experiencing like severe hair loss and where they're like, okay, like now I have this like crazy bald patch right here. Mm -hmm. Supplements are not doing it. I feel like I'm still like not feeling confident where those things that is something that they could do. Whoa. Yeah, yeah that's a good thing because I feel like it is an insecurity for some people yeah. like yeah. having or even just having well, especially if you like thinning hair and fine hair because yes. I feel like that could be a thing too because then you notice it maybe more like exactly you know if you pull up your hair on one side like that's never been like a concern of mine but I know for some people in my life like they're like whoa like I could put my ponytail and you know and they exactly. want to make it look as thick as possible but I mean like a lot of supplements that I personally have used myself and have seen great results from is well bell okay I think any hair skin and nail if you want to go to like any drugstore whole foods something like that any hair skin and nail 
like pill is going to help you. Like I said, those supplements and those ingredients within those supplements. But something that I've been using myself is Wellbell and Vegamore. Mm -hmm. Vegamore Mm -hmm. is more topical. So that's something that you would use shampoo, scalp serum. It smells so good. I love Vegamore. They're actually a podcast sponsor. You got me so on. Yeah, they they are. And you got me on that. I'm telling you, it is my favorite mm-hmm. they have these gummies that i eat every day which i think is like super fun because it's less pressure you could just like pop it in yeah you're getting your supplements and the kind of pr- like ingredients mm-hmm. that you need to help that hair thinning and hair loss um but the shampoo and conditioner smells amazing it's it, great it, like it, which one do you use the do you use the restorative the yeah just the bottle. pink bottle yeah is that like the regular yeah, yeah. so there's like okay. a light there's like a light cream one pink one and then there's like a darker more like taupey color that's more of your intense one that's okay. the ensu i believe i literally dm them and i said you guys need to make a candle in this scent because oh, i would purchase so the heck yeah. out of it like guys it's like citrus and i don't even i couldn't explain it's it. it's so good and then there's one that's like more kind of like bubble gummy <laughs> Oh, I fine. would say like, I don't know. Remember the zebra gum we used yes, to? Yes. It's yes. like a zebra gum The like flavor. fruit stripes or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 The, um, it's, the flavor's gone in like two seconds of that gum. It's oh, like, I, one is of, this like uh, what? me two years younger than I know What? Knowing. Did you not eat rainbow zebra gum? I don't think so. Maybe Was it in a, the roller thing? No, that's, um. oh my God, that's like Bubba Tape Bubba, or Bubba whatever. Tape. Yeah. Uh, I know Bubba, Bubba, Bubba Tape. Bubba Bubba. Yes. I don't know Zebra Gum. I'll have I'll to show look it, it up later. I'm going to bring everywhere. you some on Thursday. Yeah, or Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, Mass Wednesday. You should. Oh my gosh. She's like one o'clock. Confused. Don't forget. <laughs> I'm strong. Um, but yeah, that's like one of, my, those are my two favorite products. Okay. Um, Like I said, Vegamore is definitely going to be more of your topical. They have the shampoo, conditioner, masks. They also have a really great scalp serum, um, which can help with kind of the areas that you're feeling that you're losing or thinning in most. Um, And they also have brow, lash, and um, like a scalp serum for like more dry Mm -hmm. scalp. I've been using the brow serum too, and the lash serum actually. I you just have, I'm like you have full great brows. Or, or, well, oh, you have great thanks. brows. They're filled in too right now. Um, <laughs> wait, growth. Also, I need to either prove or debunk the theory. You have to cut your hair to make more of it, basically. Like you know how people always tell you this. Like if you want, you always say it too. Like you know, if you want longer hair, if you, you have to want, cut it. How does that make sense? So if make you it want makes, longer yeah. hair. And I'm going to put this in very late in terms for you guys. If you want your hair to grow, you have to cut off your split ends. If you are not cutting off your split ends, you are allowing your hair to continue to split up the hair. So if you're not... And that's why people are like, I have split ends here. I have split ends here. It's from damage, but you're also not trimming those ends off. So it's going to continue to break up your hair. Like I have one specific friend. She's like, I feel like my hair just never grows. And I'm like blank person you never get a haircut that's why your hair never grows and like of course your hair is going to grow over time but if you are not cutting your hair at least every three months which is the recommended time to get a haircut it's not going to grow or it's not going to grow healthy like it'll grow but Mm -hmm. like you know like some of those girls who have like super straggly ends Mm -hmm. like that's not cute get a cut Mm -hmm. so it really does mean like the split end could keep splitting 100 percent 100%. 100%. So that and makes sense. And then you're sense. also prone to like sitting there and like looking at your split ends right. and picking at your Dude. split ends. Mm-hmm. Like when you're looking at your split ends, you're going to see that little like white bulb and like yeah. almost, it's like a little kitchen yeah. deposit. Like, I know that. You're going <laughs> to pick at that and <laughs> then sure. you're going to sit there and you're going to split your split and then it's going to continue. So you're basically stripping that hair follicle apart and continuing to split up the hair oh instead my gosh. of like tea. Cut- tea <laughs> instead of cutting it off and making it healthy and it's that makes so much more yeah, sense because i totally. never really understood that why, why why we were focusing on the ends when it's like it's coming from the top like yeah. I, I was like i just thought it made it look longer like fuller i guess oh fuller that's what for i always sure. thought but it well it definitely does but that's fuller for sure but it, like i said it's definitely going to help keep it looking healthy yeah which we want healthy ends um but definitely you don't have to get a blunt cut mm-hmm. like yeah. you can just trim your hair we do it to you all the time. yeah that's so intriguing. oh yeah we did backstage at the show <laughs> never forget brooks like mads you're cutting my hair <laughs> I was like, yeah, I an hour you before the show your haircut last yeah. week you were like yeah i like that haircut and i was like yeah there was like not that great of a- yeah, it was like that a was, quick yeah that lighting stage cut tough. yeah i know i was like mads and now i need She's and like, now, now i need most, yeah. a forever seed leader haircut we, we did the love most. her she was great we also got a lot of questions on hair looking quote greasy like people who are like you know i uh, 
and I think that that people think that it's solved by washing your hair more, I guess, or just using products and it looks, you know, like thicker and kind of greasy. I even, I I get this towards the end of like my wash cycle, but people who day one, it's getting greasy already. Like, you know, what do we do to fix this? I mean, that's very situational. I mean, okay. your scalp is going to produce the natural oils that it feels that it needs. Mm-hmm. That's what happens when people have like mm. super oily skin, like su- super oily scalp. But I think that really depends on each person. Mm-hmm. When you're experiencing something like that, kind of what you were asking me before about oil training your hair, mm-hmm. it's going to happen. But, you know, I know there's a big thing on talc and a big thing about dry shampoo right now, uh-huh. but some people just have oilier scalps and I don't want to say it's not good to wash your hair every day, but it's not. And if you can kind of incorporate more hairstyles that allow for that greasy look like your slick back bun, Mm -hmm. high pony, not super tight high pony, but kind of incorporating more of those looks for people who do have greasy hair is going to like prolong, prolong your style. That makes perfect sense. But kind of like, I was going to like back to what you're saying about like having like greasy hair like that depends on each person. Yep. I think that you know if you have a certain lifestyle where you're working out all the time or if your scalp just produces more oils it's just about kind of like being smart and creative about how you wear your hair. So okay so you kind of answered the next question because I myself too with like working out and stuff I know mm-hmm. Brooks like mm-hmm. on her soul cycle grind. Yeah. It's hard to figure and out. You work out a lot hair. too. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Work out too much. You work out all the time. And you're like a hairstylist. So I'm like, if Mads is doing it, I can do it. I sweat a ton. So yes. like I really do struggle with that. How often with your like, you know, workout routine and everything, mm-hmm. how often are you washing your hair? You're going to think I'm so gross. No, no. It's, uh, this is <laughs> my mom's the same way. She gets her blowout once a week and she I washes her hair it. once I, a week. I yeah. truly, unless I'm doing like, I know this is, I will always wash my body. I will wash my hair once a week. Like once I'm a not week. surprised by this. No, at all. but once but a you week, also have gorgeous Max. hair, so you yeah, know thank you. and you're a hairstylist, and you know what's best. So. But I think like tying back into that dry shampoo, Vegamore has an amazing dry shampoo that is talc free, and I think that it smells good and it smells <laughs> yeah. amazing. Oh my god, it smells so 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 good. Yeah. Um, but again, being creative about your hairstyles. I work out. I want to say like four or five times a week. I am doing everything from spin to Pilates mm-hmm. to high intensity Mm -hmm. workouts and beyond being creative with your hairstyles is going to be the max benefit of your hair washing you are allowed to wash your hair two to three times a week you can wash it once a week Mm -hmm. I have girls who wash it every day because they feel like they get greasy yeah I don't want to say that's a bad thing because you have to feel comfortable with what you're doing and if you're like I literally I feel like I'm a germaphobe and I have to wash every day wash every day but with working out like all the time I love dry shampoo but the right dry shampoo without talc um being creative with my hairstyles so whether I am putting it up in a claw clip or if I am doing braids or if I'm doing my extensions with dry shampoo or hat is a super big thing Mm -hmm. I honestly was a super big hat girly and I don't know why. I, like, stop. I know. I need to bring some hats back. Like, yeah. it's a vibe. If you have, like, like, what happened to everybody's, like, lack of color era? No, oh, I know. Oh, my God. God. Those you know hats, what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes. I have a vault dedicated to all the hats that I used to wear. And, like, I'm telling you, from, like, 2013 to 16, I only wore hats. They'll come back, though. That's the thing. It always repeats itself, right? Yeah. yeah. But that's, like, another good styling, like, tip that you yeah. can use is being creative with your hairstyles. So that's, yeah. So other than dry shampoo, because sometimes I feel like my scalp starts to get all gross, like, okay. after a few days. But, like, maybe that's just a personal Then Then problem. it's time to wash. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, do that's you... the thing is, like, if you feel like your scalp is getting gross – you have to like yeah. you're gonna g- want to wash your hair. Yeah. Okay. Um. If you are doing that once a week washing, I do suggest, and people can disagree with me or this or not, wash your hair twice. I think it'll give you two shampoos. Two shampoos. Oh, that's give yeah. everyone a little preliminary wash, and then do your true wash, and then conditioner, mid shaft ends. Try to keep it off your scalp if you are trying to not have a greasy scalp. If your hair is not overproducingly greasy. Try to keep the conditioner off your scalp. Mm. That's going to help you prolong your wash. That's going to help prolong your style. Not weigh so much heaviness down Mm -hmm. on your hair. Give you a little more volume. Love. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I wash my hair two times a week, sometimes three. Yeah. Like if I'm doing like hot yoga and like, I don't know, where else do I sweat a lot? 
No, underwear. yeah. Like this morning, I went to the steam room because I knew I was. It was like a hair wash day. Like some certain things, like you unfortunately. You gotta you do. To. Yeah. She's the hair wash day. Like you can't. Yeah. Like I'm. I always say like when you're doing like your more sweatier activities, you have to make that a hair wash day. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna smell otherwise. Yeah. I like. Oh my god. Or like when the bottom. I literally can't even like think about I get it. it. Yes. But getting creative with the hairstyles is key, and it's a good yeah. reminder because I'm so bad at like. And if you feel like you said, like if your underneath really bothers you or something, like wear a low bun so you're not actually touching the bottom of your hair or looking at the bottom Mm. of your hair, you know? True. Low claw clip. I top I taught Miss Brooke how to do her. Oh yes. She did. I went and I was like, please, Mads, but I just don't like my hair up that much. It's something that I'm dealing with. She's like, Yeah, I've been dealing with it since I've been. (laughs) No, but you did help me because you taught me how to do it with that I I don't it has like a still a little bit of a pony. Yeah. I have the problem with the bun because I don't know. I don't just do need to get more. I know. I love when you wear your hair up, things. though. You've been doing the pigtails, which has been fun. A new hairstyle. Yeah, for you. pigtails. When I yes. well on my activities, when she when does I go funky skiing, or when I do um, what did I? I just this Brooks activating. sport mode hair. She yes, activated yes. pigtails. <laughs> Well, because so they were true. all doing braids, and I just know how I look in French braids. So yeah. I was like, oh, it's so cute. But, like, I just know I'm going to hate the photos today. Yeah. So, you know, because there's always the one girl in the group who's like, I can do them. Like you said. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, Honestly, ponytails like, yeah, yeah. are the low-key <laughs> ski hairstyle. What it? Pick. I think ponytails, like, if you don't like your hair in a braid, low pony is no, the it, way No, it was great. So no, it was great. And then, like, I still Did had it, like. have your. Slut strands. Your slut strands. <laughs> I was like, am I allowed to say you sh- can say slut it. strands on you here? You can say it. I think n- I didn't purposely like put them in that, but you know, you get a little like banged up when you start <laughs> Yeah, skiing, a little so tossled like- <laughs> look. Me, you're yeah. taking ski patrol down. Oh gosh. No. <laughs> I'm still dying. It's so true. In every friend group, there's always one girl that can braid hair and like yeah, she is hometown me. hero. It's literally Oh, me. I'm sure. It's oh, that duh. Was me in high school before I, I was not hair. the cheerleader. I was friends with every single one on the cheerleading team Cute. and I I braided everybody's hair and they would come to your house before games or whatever no, or no you would go to go them to the game and i would go to <sighs> the, whatever the prep part of the game was. yeah yeah right. prep prep. um and i would braid everybody's hair i put everybody's so hair in french braids or i'd do like a fun high pony or something and that was way before i started doing hair see you were just meant for this yeah you were meant for this so Uh-oh. should we do um rapid fire product rex now? yes yeah. oh my god <laughs> And it doesn't have to be fast, no. but yeah, like we're like gonna ask no. you. Super rap, rap. No, you more so just three like seconds. You're out. Okay. Yeah, no, more so just like <laughs> you know. And we'll to have the point. Um, Mads Amazon shop and everything linked down below I've too with many everything. Things from yes, this. just so that it's all in one place because yeah. I feel like you know you hear something because it's all categorized, which is really nice. So yeah. I'll have like oh. shampoos and conditioners, styling products, styling tools that are my favorite, and then. I think there's like also like brushes and stuff on like there. that as well. Great. So. It's a mm-hmm. fun place to be. So we'll link that below. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. So we kind of talked about the hair growth, but let's just say you want to do one thing to start like working on hair growth what, or one product. Well, what, Bell. Okay. Well, Bell. Well, Bell I vitamins. Know. I'm like a Well, Bell vitamin girly. I truly believe in it. I think that when you're ingesting something that you're going to get the most results out of it because it is going directly in you i think right. topical is great vega more for topical if you're looking for something not as like committal mm-hmm. yeah. you have to take those three pills every okay. day okay. i take them all at once pop them they're in big. swallow i used to take i know them. <laughs> they're big and i take so many um, supplements oh my gosh but yes to you. well bell or air any hair skin and nail pill okay wait quick question on that not tangent biotin is it do you find it's broken you out before because yes. I've always wanted to take biotin. So biotin, anything over 500 milligrams, I think, I think it's like 500 milligrams, is going to be too much excessive. Anything in okay. excess is going to find those problem areas. Gotcha. I've taken a lot of biotin, like 1,000 oh, milligrams, 2,000 milligrams. I will break out so much around my hairline, or around my um, mouth, chin, and my mouth, and my forehead, like beyond kind of excessive so anything in except i think under 500 or 500 is fine you want to take at least 500 okay thank you sorry i meant to ask that earlier um so just a good old basic everyday shampoo and conditioner just for like you know everyday hair i am such a l'oreal girly i am a committed vitamino color regardless if you color your hair or not i think one it smells amazing Ooh. Two, it is super hydrating, whether you have coarse hair, fine hair, medium 
to thick hair, like anything, it is going to give you the nicest hydration to your hair without weighing it down. Is this like the fancier L'Oreal? Like, can you buy it in a drugstore? No. Because no. I thought you said if you, you were going, like If you were going to buy drugstore hair. Well, that's why I was hair. confused. I was like, wait, L'Oreal. So but L'Oreal. They have multiple lines. L'Oreal Pro. Uh, they have a full professional line. It is absolutely incredible. Oh. They are the empress of a lot of brands that you know and love. Right. So L'Oreal, to me, is, I think, one of my favorite brand of products. The Vitamino Color is my favorite every day. I think it is nice and hydrating. It's a great price point for people. It's not too expensive. You get a good amount of product in the bottle. Because, like, I feel like sometimes with your more luxury brands, you're only getting, like, 10 ounces in that right. bottle. And, like, you're spending over $50 for the shampoo. Mm-hmm. And, like, you're like, okay, great. It's gone in a month. And now I have right. no shampoo. <laughs> um, but that's my everyday go-to favorite favorite. Wow. Okay, that's great. Mm-hmm. Love. Thank um, you. Something that's more clarifying, like, you know, I, I feel like I use one from The Way, like, once a week to, like, get yeah. away yeah. all of the, like, product buildup or something like those? that. The Way, yeah. they, they have that salt, or it's, like, a salt scrub, uh, scalp scrub, I should okay. say. Um, I love Way. I love um, Christoph Robin has a really nice one. If you're talking about, like, scalp scrubs in general, but if you're looking for something a little more clarifying. Like a clarifying shampoo. Yes. So Redken has a really nice clarifying shampoo. The only thing with clarifying shampoo is you do not want to clarify your hair all the time. And I think that there's, like, a... I think the word is, Misconception? Like misconception is that, okay, my hair's super dirty. I need to clarify it. Mm. Don't do that. You're stripping the hair. You're going to get more dry scalp, which is going to produce, like, kind of more dry scalp dandruff. And, yeah. like, you're not going to want to do that. Like I said, your hair produces a lot of healthy oils. You want those healthy oils. So overusing those clarifying scrubs and shampoos not it's good. more of a problem. But mm. if you are going to use them, um, those are my favorite. Christoph Robin Way. Um, there's another clarifying shampoo by Redken that I absolutely love. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think those are my those are my well, go-to. Cool. Thank you. That's really helpful. I definitely probably over clarify too much because I'll be like, oh, I, my hair's dirty, like you know. So it's that's fine. Good but to again, know. go to that double wash. Yeah, just do go a to double, that double wash. wash. That's a good Don't technique. do clarifying because again. <laughs> Any shampoo that you're using, make sure it's sulfate-free, paraben-free. That's going to also play into your scalp hair health, um, so it's not over-drying your hair. Um, but if you're looking for that super clean, clarify. If you're a once to two, or two to, like, two to three washer every week, once. <laughs> oh, for sure. Please don't <laughs> overuse yeah. it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, selfishly. And I mean, I know you're a Rex because you've told me, but shampoo for blondes. Shampoo for blondes. Um, I'll give you kind of like my tiers. So your more kind of like affordable route is going to be Redken. I absolutely love their, um, it's called their Aesthetic Blonding line. It is this light purple bottle. It comes with a spray, shampoo and conditioner. It is not purple when it comes out. That is my biggest pet peeve about purple shampoo for blondes. You come in and will you use it? You're like, oh, my hair is looking brassy. Oh, my hair is looking yellow. I'm going to overuse my purple shampoo. One, you're drying your hair out. Mm. Two, you're depositing color onto your hair. That's like kind of like mm. a semi, semi-permanent semi color. You're depositing color into your hair, which is now darkening your blonde over time if yeah, you are overusing. Darkens, right, yeah. Yes. So if you're overusing that, no bueno. So the Redken, I love because it is clear, it's going to give you that brightening agent in there because it has that kind of like Mm -hmm. Um, acidic percentage to it so it's gonna kind of like lift the hair a little bit but not like as a color lift it's gonna just like open the cuticle get it out a little bit so Redken's definitely my favorite and then something a little more luxurious is Kevin Murphy Angel Wash Angel Wash she I have the Redken but maybe I need to upgrade Angel Wash why don't you tell me about this one (laughs) she's a beauty I've been like testing her for a little bit and like I don't like my hair super icy I like it bright but I don't like it icy Mm -hmm. you kind of like it a little more icy which is fine (laughs) um but I'm saying wait to get iced up on Wednesday (laughs) um but those are my two recommendations if you are somebody who is looking for like more of that drugstore or something if you are using from or not from our um Fanola if you are using uh Oh my god, what is it called? Silver. It's like a silver one. Purology? No. no. Oh, these Color are drugstore well? brands? These are drugstore brands. But oh, I'm saying oh. if you are using a pigmented purple shampoo, 
my best bet or my best suggestion for you to do is add a little bit of that super pigmented purple shampoo to your normal shampoo. Okay. This will dilute it a little bit so it's not packing in all of that pigment it's gonna kind of give you that dilution mm-hmm. that people are like for. whoa i just know it i know listening. i'm learning a lot <laughs> too because i blonde culture i know she thanks goes for being blonde culture, culture. Mix in blonde culture yeah i'm today. like i'll just use the standard shampoo and <laughs> i know that's so <laughs> lovely um heat protectant i know we talked all about heat and protectant since if you had to only pick one redken you know, one unite is by far tested look it up the best hair, heat protectant on the market. I'm ordering it. You mean the brand um, Unite? No. no. So oh, Redken, oh. it's called One United, I believe. One I'm United. Sure. Okay. Um, we'll have the yeah. on shop link below. Again, I'm but literally still yeah, I was going to say shop link protect- below. No, you're good. Um, they've done tests where they put the heat protectant on a Q-tip. They've done everywhere from Olaplex to um, It's a 10 to other heat protectants on the market. This is the one that when you spray it on your hair, it is not going to light up in flames. It is unreal. I use it on my hair every single day when I'm heat styling my hair. Oh my and I am obsessed with it. I think it smells really good. It's going to be kind of like um, Pureology has a all-in-one spray as well. Mm-hmm. It's a 10. I also has one. I do love the Pureology one, but if I had to choose, it would be the Redken One Unite. <laughs> Brooke and I are literally going to order that tonight. Yeah, I'm, I need to get better about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Hairspray, just a regular hairspray. Because I feel like, you know, I do my hair and then like two minutes later, I'm like, why did it fall? Probably because I'm not using hairspray. I need to get so better about So there's different that. levels of okay. holds for hairspray. So tell me what hold you're looking for. I don't want it to be crunchy. That's what I always say. Like so if I go to dry bar, I'm like, don't make it crunchy. So like. you're going to look for a flexible hairspray. My favorite flexible hairspray um, is by Kevin Murphy. I will link it below. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I forget Literally the exact no, no, that's fine. This um, is, Kevin the brand Murphy, is enough. Their yeah. scent is amazing. It's nice and flexible. It they have different hairsprays that ranges from high hold to more flexible holds to dry um, dry texture sprays, which are amazing. Um, that is my go-to. I think it is nice and light. Doesn't leave the hair crunchy. Perfect. My go-to. I love Kevin Murphy. I love it. I feel like the summary of this episode is try different hairstyles to keep your hair lasting long. Don't clarify too much. Heat protectant. Be thorough. Be I'm trying thorough. to think of like the main Wash points. your hair less. <laughs> Wash your hair less. Yeah. If you can. I if you know. can. And just make sure you're just being very conscious about mechanical damage and mm. c- color damage. Yeah. I love. And I guess just investing more, even just time wise. Like I feel like I used to just rush through the process of like yeah. washing my hair and whatever. And now I'm like learning to like take more time, even styling everything. Yeah. And it's really paying off. I just mean, investing yeah. in your hair in general. I mean, back to kind of the drugstore things like you don't want to use crappy products on your hair. You don't use crappy products on your skin. You don't want to use it on your hair, your hair you wear every day. Yeah. I, so investing in the products to. that you're using at home on your hair, even if it's shampoo, conditioner, styling products, heat protectant sprays, oils and serums that's gonna be where you're gonna find the most success with your hair health and hair journey i think wow wow yeah thank you mads so where can everyone find you on social media or yeah if they, or are you even taking new in. clients right now so or? you can find me on my instagram and on my tiktok at mads underscore hair yeah um what was the other question are you taking new clients I, I don't want to say no because I do sometimes, um, but Sh- send her. S- but try you're to booked book. and busy though. Is, bu- yeah, I'm, I it humbly, depends if you have an opening. I'm right. humbly booked and busy. I have a really great clientele thanks to you girls. Um, but I'm I'm definitely very booked and busy right now, thankfully. But I have some exciting news. I'm opening up a salon in the Lower East Side. Oh, my God. So I was wondering if we were going to talk about I that. Like, I was like, should I mention it yes. at the end? Yes. Um, yes. So we are opening, um, I want to believe, fingers crossed, first week of April is going to be. Oh, my God. Yay. That's so soon. I know. I just came from there, which was the crazy part. And they just put up all the stations. It's amazing. <sighs> the salon will be called Rule On. So it's a little play on words of my last name. Um, my brother and I are opening it up together. That's so sweet. It's so going to be a super fun and intimate salon about six chairs so we're looking for six stylists to kind of be part of our team and within that I will have stylists that I can recommend if you are not able to get in with me these are people that I've hand chosen myself that I feel will deliver the same result that I would give if someone were to come to me so 
I'm literally so excited. Definitely yeah. so too. excited oh, about that. Oh, I can't that. wait. So you'll have to check it out. We'll have everything Mads linked down below. And we're just so th- thankful for you Thank taking you. time out of your day to come here. Yeah. Yes. I was so, so happy to be on this. And when you guys asked me, I was like, I get to be on Gals on the Go. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh my gosh. It only makes sense. And you're yes. the perfect guest. And you're so fun. And now people get to see your personality. Yeah. Too, so. And why we love you so much. So yeah. go check her out. We oh. love you. Thanks so much for coming. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.